Hey folks, Andrew here helping out Locke Vincent with a Gaming Alchemy Halloween Horror Review. Today I'm going to be talking about my time with Outlast, an excellent horror title from developer Red Barrels. Outlast is a fucking scary game. It's mostly jump out scares and mood music, but when you're the first person in control of the action, it's a lot different than just being surprised by a cat jumping out of a cupboard in an old horror movie. We've seen that before. But here, when you know something's coming, or you know the music's playing up and something bad is going to happen, you're more compelled maybe to just sit around and do nothing until you have a, a better game to play. Not because this game is bad, but because it's just horrifying. You play an intrepid reporter who has gone off to investigate the Murkoff Corporation, or Murkoff's psychiatric systems, which have recently moved into Mount Massive Asylum. An old asylum that was abandoned and shut down years ago, but now this government contractor has taken over. So this this sounds good, you know, Murkoff psychiatric systems. What could possibly go wrong here? So naturally when you show up, something has gone wrong, and a security force has been dispatched um, in more ways than one. There's bodies everywhere. Unfortunately, with the limited graphics, all the bodies kind of look the same. They're all just the same one security guard killed over and over and over and over and over again throughout the entire game. But the game is freaking terrifying. And why is this? Well, it's all through the first person perspective. And you play through your camcorder. And you have to record things as you go on. Now, luckily, you have a gun. No, I'm kidding. You don't have a gun. You don't have a 2x4, you don't have anything. You have your camcorder. In the very beginning of the game, it tells you you can run, you can hide, or you can die. And those are your three options. I guess you can record yourself running, dying, and hiding too. Now, it's an incredibly dark game, but you have night vision through your camcorder, which helps out a lot, but unfortunately, the camcorder, for some reason, is run off batteries only when you're using night vision. So if you run out of batteries, you're stuck in the darkness. In which case, then it's a good time to go play Lego Marvel Super Heroes or something like this, because fuck that. If you can keep your battery power up, though, you really want to get out of this asylum, because horrible, horrible, horrible things are happening there. Um, like I said, it's a lot of jump out scares and mood music, but when you have your headphones on and you're in front of your monitor or your TV or whatever playing through it, it's it's unnerving to say the least. Um, it's like haunted house quality scares. If you went, like to go to haunted houses, that's this right here in, in digital form in your face. Uh, it's incredibly enjoyable. It's a lot of fun if you've been through a few areas and you want to show it off to a significant other or a friend. Um, it's scary. Another thing, for some god-awful reason, you can look over your shoulder as you're running away from whatever's trying to kill you. Just to give, just, just so you really, just to wreck your sleep. Just to ruin your sleep at night. Just so you can have that real true sense of just looking over your shoulder as you're fleeing from some giant man beast who's willing to hunt you down and pull organs out of your body. Or, I can't really tell what he's doing. It's always dark when he gets me. But... The game itself is just a great Halloween title. It's on sale right now for like 13 bucks or something like that from Steam with DLC on the way. I highly recommend it for this season. You're absolutely going to love it if you're into scary games. Especially scary games that leave you feeling helpless. Like I said, you can never fight back. It's just a, an adventure in, in terror. Um, but it's a quality adventure. The only really drawbacks are to it are that if you really start to, to look under the sheet, to look too closely at the monsters, or to figure out you know, patterns and triggers and stuff like that. You can kind of ruin it, but you know, then you're just kind of ruining it for yourself. Good luck with that. Anyway, Outlast, pick it up. It's great. It'll scare you. Have fun.